How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to record the screen of your Windows PC. And trust me when I say this because I've tried so many different software and this one is the best in the game. It's so complete, it's an all-in-one solution, but it's at the same time super easy to use and super intuitive. You see what I'm talking about right now. So. Let's go ahead and let me show you PassFab Screen Recorder. And first things first, I have to tell you that I have a direct download link, the first one in the description, so you can go ahead, download and install PassFab Screen Recorder on your PC right now. So it can do three main things, record your screen, record your webcam and picture in picture, which is doing both of those at the same time. So it'll be recording your screen and your webcam in the same video it's super cool let's start with the demonstration because i'm going to demonstrate all of those methods and let's start with screen recording which is the first one and as you can see it can do both it can actually record the whole screen so if you click anywhere on the display it'll start recording the whole screen or if you want to you can just close it out go to screen to record screen again and then click and drag so then it will record a portion of your screen and then of course you can move around put it wherever you want because sometimes you just want to record a portion of your screen sometimes just a window so you don't need to record the whole thing all right so let me just close once again go to record screen click anywhere so i can record the whole screen and let me show you how it actually works as you can see we have the record button right here but before i start recording i want to show you those two little buttons because as i said this software is super intuitive it knows what we want and knows what we actually need when recording and it makes our life so much easier so right here we can disable the microphone and disable the speaker and when i say disable i mean that when we start recording it'll not record your microphone or your speaker so if you want to you can record the whole thing so in the recording you have the video from the display uh, it'll get the audio from the internal microphone of the computer so it'll be hearing your environment and it will record the speakers so what's coming out of the computer itself of the speakers you can record the whole thing if you want but depending on what you want to record maybe you don't want to record your microphone so let's say you're a student and you just want to record a lesson a class that you're watching so then you don't want to really record your own audio your own microphone so you can disable that and then the software would just record the video and the speaker so the video and the audio from that lesson so i'm just gonna disable my microphone because i want to test it out and i don't want my voice to be picked up while i'm recording and saying and talking to you in the video okay so everything is ready i can just click on start and as you guys can see it's already recording and if you actually want to hide this menu because it's being picked up in the recording you can just minimize it it'll be right here and it's not being picked up by the screen anymore okay and let me just show you that it works perfectly so i can click here on google chrome and i have a video of mine of daniel ball tech on youtube and then if i hit play in the background check it out i can just hit play and as you guys can see uh video is playing normally everything is working perfectly and then if i just go ahead and open up passfab screen recorder I can just stop that recording so then we can check out the demo. Uh, another thing that I love before stopping is the fact that you can actually pause the recording because sometimes you want to record something but there's something that you don't want so you can pause and then you can play again. So having the ability to not only stop but also pause, it may seem something obvious but not all software have that, right? So let me now stop. So then I finish the recording and instantly you'll see that we have a window where you can edit that recording. That's why I also said it's so complete. It's an all-in-one solution because you can edit, you can trim straight from here. How cool is that? So if, for example, you want to trim that uh, beginning, that intro that I was explaining to you and everything and I minimized it, you can do that. So you can trim all the way to, for example, here. So then you don't want that portion you can go ahead and trim as you guys can see 
you can save wherever you want and then it's being processed and everything it's very fast as you guys can see it just takes a couple of seconds and then it's done the export is complete you can hit ok and then you can tap on play to just see how the video is and you can see that everything works perfectly as you would expect and when i hit play let me just hit play so as you just saw with audio everything working perfectly so so smooth right here on this window we can go ahead and open the output folder and then we can see all the videos and screen uh, recordings and everything that you've done very easy to see and of course you can just close the video was already saved you can just yes you can close it everything is ready all right let me close it once again and let me show you quickly the other two methods of course we have webcam recording and then it'll do pretty much the same as you guys can see menus are very uh, similar they work very well as you guys can see that's you right here <laughs> and then uh, right here you can select your webcam if you have an external webcam resolution the frame rate you can mirror it if you want to same thing uh, microphone and speaker and then you can of course start the recording and then the process is exactly the same you can also take a screenshot from all of those methods in the screen recording option we have the screenshot button and right here we have the screenshot button as well if you want to take a screenshot and then last but not least we have picture in picture which i absolutely love especially if you are a creator so i'm going to click to record the whole screen and then right here it'll automatically open your webcam and right here in the little viewfinder as you guys can see we're seeing uh that it is recording the screen and in the smallest portion in the bottom right hand corner we have the webcam so it will record both of them at the same time that's what it's called picture in picture i can click here and invert so have as you guys can see now the webcam very big and the screen very small and then just the webcam and we can also go for just the screen so you can switch between whatever you want when you are in picture in picture and of course you can also select the picture in picture position so top left top top right middle whatever you want and also the picture in picture size you can make it smaller or bigger if you want to very easy and you can do that in video so let's say i start recording and i'm already recording it's recording and i can go ahead and switch to any position that i want in the video so super cool that i can do that dynamically very very nice and i can just minimize it later keep recording doing what i want and i can go ahead and move around backwards and forwards very very nice screenshot also available every single time okay i can just stop it right now and then just go ahead and close it and as you can see i can close this as well yes and then that's the three main features in passfab screen recorder but please keep in mind that we have other kind of settings here that i just love so it's very easy you can just click on this arrow and then see all your files separated by all video image very easy to use so all the files that you've recorded we have it right here very easy way to see them you have general uh settings frame rate resolution you have some effects if for example you want to have your mouse highlighted so as you guys can see you have this effect where the mouse will be highlighted and you can change the color very useful as well for creators uh, and you can show your uh, keystroke so when you press on your keyboard it'll show actually what keys are being pressed also very important if you're creating content for tutorials or something like that you have tasks device and then you can select the device that you want to use as input or output and of course hotkeys as well which are shortcuts and right here speaking about shortcuts we have two interesting shortcuts that we can use to capture mouse or not capture keystrokes or not so very easy you can select those when starting a new recording for the screen for the webcam or for picture in picture okay guys so that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i wanted to show you but last but not least i want to give you awesome news as I said before, I'll have a link in the description so you can go ahead and download 
PassFab Screen Recorder. But not only that, if you want to get the full version of PassFab Screen Recorder, there is a huge discount going on right now where you can get it for just $5. There is a free version, but you can get the full version for just 5 bucks. Super worth it. And also, we have another discount, which is like buy one, get one free. I just love those. So you can get, for example, PassFab 4U key or iPhone Unlocker or Android Unlocker. So other tools that PassFab actually does in the PassFab family and then get PassFab Screen Recorder for free. So then you can get other tools and get the Screen Recorder tool for free. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in a few days as usual, guys. Bye-bye.